Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. This is your brother Aliyah Zaman here, and I hope you guys are enjoying the surf lesson so far. So today, what we're going to be covering is, is we're going to everything that we've learned so far. We're going to put it into a table, right? So I'm going to show you how I'm going to make this table. So we're going to we're going to make a list of 14, basically, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to write down three letters 14 times going down. Right, so let's say, for example, let's take the word kataba. Uh, so, ka, ta, and ba. Okay, so, ka, ta, ba. Ka, this is a, I know it's a long process, but don't worry. There's a lot of benefit in this, inshallah. See, what happens is your brain kind of gets used to the same patterns. Uh, you kind of like understand, oh yeah, this is what I learned. Because you, because by repeating something, it becomes perfect, isn't it? Isn't, isn't that what they say? And in sarf, repetition is extremely important. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, kataba. Does anyone know what kataba means? It means to write, right? So as you can see, I am writing, I am actually doing kataba. We're gonna make 14 of these and then we're gonna be adding the relevant letters at the front and the relevant letters at the back. Now, practice your Arabic, right? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Two, three. Okay, and ka. Practice your writing Arabic, inshallah. By practicing, your writing is going to become very good. Yeah, seriously, that's that's all I can say. Okay, now, the next thing is, is what we're going to do is going to add to the beginning. Remember, all of these verbs have to have one of those red ones at the beginning. So what we do is, we actually make a list. So the first three are going to be he, third person. Right, so all this is going to be third person yeah so masculine third person masculine so for masculine remember we're gonna add a yeah right yeah so you put a yeah here a yeah here and a yeah there yeah third person masculine and then for these three right let's use a different color i got a nice pinkish color all right, so these pens all, all over the place. So I've got a nice pinkish color here. Let's put pink because it's going to be feminine. Let's put a pink color there. So this is going to be third person feminine. All right, but we're still going to be using red. So you're going to have ta this time. Ta, ta. And remember, this one is a bit different. We said the plural feminine. That's the one that's a bit different. So we're gonna put a yeah there. So I just put a box around that so people know. Okay, and then we're gonna have a third person masculine here, or second person masculine. These three. All right. So these three, second person masculine. All right. So you're gonna have ta. Remember. So here you're gonna have ta. So let's put it down. Let me know what you guys think of these lessons. See if they've helped you. Um, I don't know, maybe they help someone, maybe they don't. Maybe some people find it difficult to still follow me on this. Some of you guys were saying you don't like it when I cut and I do this, and I understand that now. I'm, I'm starting to get used to this, so I can tell it can become a bit confusing. So that's why I've done a cutting video separately. Okay, so that's second person. Second person feminine now. So all these three are second person feminine. Right now, we're gonna put a ta for that. A ta, a ta, and a ta. Right, this is all that. And then finally, it's I. So a and na. Yeah. Right, I and we. Now, we need to add the blue ones now. So, wherever relevant. So, because this is first person. Right, this is first person, isn't it? So we're not going to really need to add anything there. But we need to add something for dual. This is a dual. So in other words, times two, times one, 
times 3. So for times 2, ani. For times 3, una. This is times 1, times 2, times 3. Right, so we're going to add nothing there, but we're going to add here ani. And because this is feminine, we're going to add the na. Remember the na? Okay, we've got the na there. And then here is times 1, times 2, times 3. So nothing for the first one, but for 2 ani, 3, un. Ani, remember ani, yeah? Ani, Arnold Schwarzenegger. So if you can remember that, ani, right, you can remember that. Una, and then for feminine, times one, times two, times three. So, right, so for this one, remember, we have to add this, right, which is ina. Right, so we've got to add ina. So let's actually add this pink. I think pink would look nice. Ina. And then for dual, it's going to be ani. And then for plural feminine, like this one over here, we have na. And nothing there, and nothing there. And there you have it. That's basically the list that you're going to use. So if you keep this list with you, you can actually put any verb in here. And this will be the 14. This is the, They call this in Persian gardan. Right? So this is like a kind of list uh, that you do in your sarf. Um, so, you know, you can put any sort of like shariba you can put. But the only thing that you have to remember is the vowels are obviously going to differ. So, for instance, kataba, this follows the vowels. Uh, I mean, like we said, so if you put the vowels on now, should we use a different color for vowels? Oh, let's see what the colors we've got. Should we use a purple? I think purple might be a bit. We'll put light blue. I don't know if you guys are colorblind or find it difficult to see certain colors. But I'm going to put, I'm going to use a blue for this. Okay, so. So what we're going to have here is we're going to say yak to bu. All right? So yak to bu. Yak to bani. Remember this one, right? It's going to be a fathade. Right? So for for duels you have to use fatha. Right? Fathade. And then for plural, it's again yak to buna, right? So this is you know yak to buna, um, and then single again tak to bu, and then tak to now because it's dual, you're gonna have to have a fathade. Yep. And for this one, you're going to say yak tub. Over here, you've got a sukun for the that yak tubna. And then this one is tak to bu as normal. Tak to now because it's a dual, right? So you can have fathade. And then this one is tak. To buna, this one is tak to, and this here is bina. Right, so this is uh, kasra. Right, this one is tak to bani, fatha, this dual. This one is tak to tub, sukun. Yeah, remember? And this one is Aktubu and Naktubu. Alright, so this is basically the pattern that you're going to have. You're going to be using this kind of pattern. And we can do other ones as well. We can do Yashrabu, but Yashrabu, the only difference is going to be is if you were to use Yashrabu, you're going to have a Fatha over here. On all of these, these ones, you're going to have a Fatha. These are, I, by the way, let me just write down what th these are called. See, these are called the. Uh, is there another color? No, let me use green. These are called the fa a la letters. 
They call these the fa a la letters. And all of these are what we call extra. And all of these are extra. Yeah, but these are known as the huruf asli. The huruf asliya. Huruf asliya, the original letter. So, don't know if that's blurred out or not. But that's basically what you have there. Right, so you can make yourself one of these patterns. Show me if you made a nice one, send it to me, and I'll try to put it on my uh, next video or something. Um, I'd, I'd love to see how you guys do things. So this is how I would do it, nice and colorful. Right, this is the, the pattern that we're going to be using. And what I'm going to be showing you is how this works in the Quran, inshallah. Jazakumullah khair. Thank you very much for watching this video. Patrons, thank you very much. If you guys want to become patrons as well, uh, it will help me so much on this channel, especially with uh, a lot of the projects I'm trying to do. And I need a lot of support as well. So check out the link in the description. And again, Jazakumullah khair. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.